Well, looking forward to uh, our game on Saturday. We're at the halfway point of league play, nine games in. I think, um, you know, you look at uh, across the league, I think the league's been extremely competitive. A lot of good teams, uh, exciting basketball all the way through. So our game uh, tomorrow against LSU, uh, watching them on film, really impressed with their team. Uh, they've got uh, size, they've got speed, rebounding, uh, physicality, a uh, team that's one of the highest scoring teams in our league. Uh, so uh, the challenge again one, uh, for us will be from a defensive standpoint, uh, trying to do a good job of limiting their opportunities in transition, rebound the basketball, and then offensively, uh, they do a really good job of having their defense create offense. So we've got to execute, we've got to be able to take care of the basketball. I was just wondering, first, um, how's Ricky progressing through with, with his injury? He's progressing. Uh, I guess as, as to be expected, he won't, uh, he won't be available uh, for this game. But I think with every day that passes, he continues to improve. You're at the halfway point. How would you say, uh, you know, what's your assessment of the play so far in the SEC's play? I think standing? we'll continue to get better. Uh, you know, I think, um, you know, for us, it's one day at a time. You know, we're excited about the opportunity to go to LSU uh, and, and try to get a win. We're coming off a good win at home against Missouri. And Retton has been filling in for Ricky. Uh, what have you seen from him? How's his game progressed, I guess, for both of you? Well, Retton's a veteran. You know, I think he's uh, really stepped into the role uh, that our team needs him to do. And he's the type of guy that uh, whatever you ask of Retton, he's going to try to give 100% to do that. I think he's done a really good job. Uh, you know, in Ricky's absence and, and obviously, uh, you know, providing what our team needs. Yes, yeah, like Coach said, Red's a veteran. Uh, he's been here a long time. You know, he'll do anything you ask him to do. Plays tremendously hard on both ends of the court. So uh, he's doing a great job. Um, for Levi, like Arkansas, LSU plays at a much faster pace. Do you like games like that? Does it matter to you if teams – push it up and down or, or if you play in the half court do you have a preference well basketball is basketball so either way it goes you know it's a it's going to be a 40 minute game uh, we're going to go out there and compete and just try to do the things the coach asks us to do and uh, work towards the um, work towards trying to get the victory just ask about Retton's personality what's what's he like he seems like he's a ball energy what's he like away from the from the floor um the same way he is on the court, he's that way off the court. Uh, he's a ball of energy. He always, when Redden walks in the room, he uplifts the room. You know, brings smiles to everybody's face. If you're having a down day, you know, he'll lift you up, he'll pick you up, and he just keeps everybody going. Yeah, I'd say the same. You know, Redden's a really consistent guy. He's, uh, he's always uh, got a smile and uh, very, uh, brings energy uh, anytime he's in the room. And, I think that's the way he is on the court as well. <clears throat> I just had another follow-up on Red. For, as a coach, when you have a guy who's sort of selling it out on both ends of the floor as hard as he is, what, what's that like just watching that from the sideline? Um, well, I, I think um, that's what we expect our guys to do, and that's the type of guys that I think um, hopefully uh, our team embodies that, you know, just in terms of guys that are willing to, to give it their all when they're out there on the court. I think that's what it takes to be a really good player. and That's certainly what it takes to have a good team. Other questions? Anything else? Go for Levi. All right. Thank you, guys.